This problem involves two blocks connected by a string that is run over a pooling. When block M is released, it moves upward with an acceleration of 2.00 meters per second squared. When the small block goes up in the air, the 5 kilogram mass moves down the inclined plane with the same acceleration. We will consider the x-axis to be parallel to the incline. There is a tension in the string between the blocks. In part A, we'll be finding the magnitude of the force. In part B, we'll be solving for the mass of the small block. First, we'll find the weight of the 5 kilogram block. Plugging the values into the weight formula, we find the weight to be 49 newtons. The x component of the weight goes down the plane in the positive x direction. And the y component of the weight acts perpendicular to the plane in the negative y direction. The normal force reacts to the y component of the weight. And the final force acting on the 5 kilogram block is the force of kinetic friction, which goes in the opposite direction on the motion of the block, which in this case makes FK point up the plane. The only force other than the tension acting on the small block M is the weight of the block. We will draw a free body diagram for the system, stretching it out in the X direction. This makes it easy to see the forces acting with and against each other. We can find the values for WX and WY. We draw a force triangle for the weight. WX is the weight times the cosine of 60 degrees. WY is the weight times the sine of 60 degrees. We label our picture with these values and show the magnitude and the direction of the acceleration as it relates to the system. In part A, we want to find the tension in the string. Our free body diagram will make our task easier. We want to isolate the 5 kilogram force and solve for the tension. By getting rid of the small mass, we can easily visualize the forces acting on the 5 kilogram mass. Here are the three equations we will need. Our goal is to find the tension, which is the value in the net force in the x direction. We know wx, the mass, and the acceleration, so in order to solve for t, we need to find the force of kinetic friction. To find the force of kinetic friction, we need to find the normal force, so the first force we will solve for is the normal force. In the vertical direction, there is no acceleration, so it's easy to find the normal force. It equals the magnitude of the y component of the weight. We input this value along with the coefficient of kinetic friction into our friction equation to find the magnitude of kinetic friction. Fk equals 4.24 newtons. Now we substitute our values back into our original equation. We rearrange this equation to isolate the tension. 10 comes from the product of the mass and the acceleration. After summing the values, we find the tension in the string between the masses. We will use this value in part b. In part b, we want to find the mass of the small block, m. We redraw our free body diagram. This time we want to isolate the block, m. We move the 5 kilogram block from the picture. We can input the tension in the string. Since there are only x forces acting on the small block, we only need one formula to solve for our problem, the net force in the x direction. We substitute in our variables, rearrange to group the masses together, factor out the mass, and divide both sides by the sum of the acceleration due to gravity and the acceleration of our system. We input our values and find the mass of the small block. 